The idea behind a mail merge is that you're combining a data source, like an Excel spreadsheet, with a Word document, like a form letter for example, so that you end up with a Word document that contains your data automatically. It's a great tool for creating form letters or mailing labels and it will save you from the tedious job of having to enter all those addresses manually into the form letters for example. The first thing you want to do when you're starting a mail merge is take a look at your spreadsheet and just make sure that everything is set up correctly. You want to make sure that all your columns have good headers that are descriptive and make sense for what that column contains. And if you have a column for zip codes, you want to make sure that those cells are formatted so Excel doesn't drop the zeros in front of some of the zip codes. The way to do this is you select the whole column. So I'm going to click on the letter G here to select column G that has my zip codes. And then I'm going to go up to the Format menu and choose Format Cells. And I'm going to choose Special from the category and here I'll say zip code and then I can click OK and this will keep the zeros on the zip codes for me and if it looks all set you can just close the spreadsheet